Did Dr. Fauci mislead Congress? Now, we have a new book by two Washington Post reporters. The book reveals that Dr. Anthony Fauci and the NIH director, Francis Collins, in the spring of 2020, fought and protested back against former President Donald Trump and Trump's order to cancel NIH funding going to the Wuhan lab in China after fears that, yeah, COVID-19 did leak out of that lab. Let's welcome back to the show House Oversight Ranking Member. He is Congressman James Comer of Kentucky. Okay, so two months after that, Dr. Fauci tells the House committee, quote, I have no idea why President Trump ordered the halt in funding. So what do you think of this? It's more discrepancy in uh, his testimony versus what we now know is reality. And uh, what I would like to do is give Dr. Fauci an opportunity to come before Congress and try to explain the discrepancies in his testimony and what we now know as fact. You know, the new book by the two Washington Post reporters reveals specific verbatim conversations showing that Dr. Fauci absolutely knew the reason why Trump was ordering the halt and that he canceled, Dr. Fauci canceled the funding and he knew what, what, what Trump was about and Trump was worried because the HHS general counsel warned, it looks like he warned Dr. Fauci, if you don't stop this funding, you're going to get fired. So Fauci looks like he did know what Trump was talking about. I believe he did know, and I believe that Dr. Fauci clearly had a grudge against Donald Trump. He used every opportunity he could to try to undermine President Trump. He used every opportunity he could to try to mislead Americans, uh, and he used every opportunity he could to try to uh, play along with the Democrat narrative that Trump wasn't taking COVID seriously and that, uh, you know, the disease and the pandemic was uh, affecting many more people than it really was. But Dr. Fauci needs to come clean with all this. He was the face of COVID-19, for better or worse, for over a year. And now Americans are angry. We're getting back to normal. We realize how much this affected the economy. Uh, we realize now that there was credible evidence all along that this uh, that the origination was in the lab in Wuhan and Dr. Fauci knew. Uh, if I were Dr. Fauci, I would want to come to Congress and I would want to come clean and try to explain all the discrepancies in his testimony versus what we now know to be fact. You know, the genetic sequencing scientists say of the COVID-19 SARS-CoV-2 virus, it, is, it looks like it's the same uh, genomic DNA sequencing that the Wuhan lab researchers were working on, that they successfully, uh, you know, it's 11 times since 1992, supercharged viruses inside the lab. In other words, the genomic sequencing of COVID-19 matches what was being done inside the lab. And Dr. Fauci told the Senate that, you know, the NIH is not funding this when the NIH got the patent and was helping to fund a patent by, for Dr. Barrick going back since 2002 on gain-of-function supervirus research. So what, what are Republicans going to do here in terms of hearings? Well, the Democrats clearly aren't interested in trying to determine the origination of COVID-19. Republicans have called on Democrats who are in the majority to hold hearings. Since they want, on Tuesday, we're going to have our own hearing. Uh, we don't have the authority being in the minority to hold official hearings, but we're sick and tired of waiting. We are inviting witnesses, expert witnesses that have credible evidence linking the origination of COVID-19 to that lab in Wuhan. We've in invited Dr. Fauci to attend. Uh, Steve Scalise will be chairing this meeting. He's on the COVID Select Committee. He's the ranking member of the COVID Select Committee. Uh, I'm going to be there. Uh, Jim Jordan will be there. A lot of leaders of different committees in the House will be there. We're going to try to have a serious, credible hearing because Americans want and deserve to know the truth behind this. And for whatever reason, the Democrats aren't interested in holding hearings. We're not blaming the Democrats for COVID-19. We're blaming China for COVID-19. It's bizarre that the Democrats don't want to try to get any answers and hold anyone accountable. All right, Congressman James Comer, thanks for that information about a hearing coming up this coming Tuesday. It's good to see you.